when we know that there is more potential for heating, uh, for this kind of aggression, which is witnessing some of the people which is being suspicious. So is it from, is it from frustration or is it... <laughs> it's being very egocentric, so it's all about me, 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 what I want, what works for me, and he's not really considering anything else or anyone else in this, in this matter. Um, is that a natural thing? Being, for, yes, for the most part, absolutely. Would we want to still work with it? Yes. It's not like, oh, you know, boys will be boys. Yes, boys will be boys, it's true. But we still want to make sure that there are um, functional boys. So when we know something like this is more prone to happen, we want to be supervising right. a lot and constant. We know that there is some um, potential for misbehavior, so we want to be right there as right. close as possible, calming the situation down, not necessarily reprimanding. I mean, sometimes it's okay to say, uh-uh, not okay. And we use a very um, precise no? firm intonation. You want to, you know, no! Um, no, don't do you know, like right. women tend to do that. We have a typical hysteric right, kind right. of voice that comes from the top. Yes. And that doesn't work for boys, actually. They tune it out. Wow. <laughs> Men wow. do too. Um, and it doesn't grab their attention either. Is your finger stuck inside? Whoops. So we actually want to use a voice that comes from lower, carries further, it grabs attention. So intonation and um, the sound is very crucial. So uh -uh, not okay, it's coming from here. But so you don't really say no. It's more of a yeah, like right there with anything that sort of like stops the right. whatever is going on. Right. Um, as much as possible. It's best with toddlers not to say the word no a lot.